Right folks, nearly down the end of this lovely little lane with beautiful views of the wheat fields and the clouds and the wildflowers and it's nice to I quite like little lanes when they're quiet like this and peaceful I don't mind them at all they're actually although we're going downhill always puts a bit of strain on the old knee but uh, yeah. Of course, the, that woman did ask me about Pretty. You know, thinking of it, you can join up with Pretty over that by that road there. But of course, she didn't. I didn't have enough time to think. You see, she because she wanted Blagden Lake or Chew Magna Lake. Well, you know, I don't know what she was going to do. To be quite honest, because that road's fatal. That road over there. Oh, so dangerous. But there'll be signs there. So she'll be able to see the sign pretty. Uh, I've got a feeling she said she came up this earlier. I've got no idea. Look at that view though. This is England. This is the English countryside. English lanes. English wildflowers in the hedgerow. The butterflies dancing. I love it. I love it. So there we are, we've come down there, we've got to go on this busy road for a little while till we come to the stile, which is just not very, not far from where that van, before the lay-by. And well, I don't know which way she went, but she could get to Pretty from here. It's the back way, you can get to Pretty. I'm just going to video a bit of the, this road. It's a little road that leads to Pretty, it leads to Cheddar. Um, they tend to be quiet, but when there there are vehicles, they're very fast. They're travelling fast. They use them as rat runs. A lot of delivery people come hurtling down through here. And uh, <sighs> just hidden in the trees up there, I took a picture of it earlier. It's Charterhouse Church, it's got a name. I've videoed and photographed it before. Um, I haven't done it for this time. I'm not going that way. I could walk, I, if I wanted to, I could literally walk, follow this road round. I don't really do roads. There's a car coming now. You see, that could be a boy racer and he could come hurtling along here at a hundred miles an hour. But it looks like he's stopping. Look at this lovely, it's almost like wild honeysuckle, isn't it? This along here. Look, isn't it pretty? Very pretty. Now, any minute now, my Hopefully, I haven't missed the style, have I? That lovely view, though. It's lovely, isn't it? There's the aerials over there. See them? Let's zoom in. There's the aerials. We're on the turn. We're on the turn. You've got to be careful when people stop like that. Now here's the style. Here's the style, everyone. It takes me to Velvet Bottom. Bet you anything that car start up now. You get a lot of stalkers driving around the countryside as well, you know. A lot of stalkers. Great, isn't it? Oh, there's a big lorry trying to get past now. See? 
Great big lorry. And the little church called Charterhouse Church is over there. And now we're going down to Velvet Bottom. And if I zoom in over there, you can see some black stuff. Slag. That all comes from um, the surface mining days. This place is pit holed with surface mining. This place was black with thick smoke, chimneys, men all covered in coal dust, um, donkeys, noise. It wasn't pretty like it is now. Now I have put some images on before from plaques that are still about I think showing the type of scene it would have been 200 years ago here and of course the Romans were here before that um, and all these fields because they're all humpy bumpy it's because the surface mining they've all got special names these pits which I always forget every single time I forget what they're called every single time Anyway, there's a big sign there, so that's all we've been there. Now this is Adder Country. They warn you, on, not here, but at the other end, there's um, a plaque. It says, don't disturb the adders. And apparently it's, this is real, real Adder Country all around here. Um, all these huffs and tufts. So there we go, folks. It's a lovely hot day, my whole body feels warm. It feels very warm indeed. I've had a bit of my fruit juice. I've still got two oranges. I've got loads of food. I haven't, I've only had the chocolate and the banana. I don't always feel hungry actually when I'm walking, then all of a sudden you get starving. So here we are then. Little bits of slag heap there, look. I've photoed and videoed this so many times, everyone, but it is a different date in time. Um, last time I was here, Boris Johnson was Prime Minister, for example. He's now been thrown out, although he is babysitting, if you like. He's babysitting people that really stabbed him in the back. And we're actually part of what he was up to. They were participating in his decisions and then they dropped him. So, I'm not a Tory, but basically, the Chancellor of the Exchequer especially has stabbed him in the back. That's what I reckon. I wouldn't vote for him if I was a Tory. I wouldn't trust what he's saying at all. Anyway, that's just a little bit of vents. They're looking for a new leader. The announcement will be made in early autumn. So here we are. This is part of Velvet Bottom. Over now.
right, we're walking along the snake path, everyone. Because it looks like it's been cleared a bit. I was right up there, don't forget earlier. Right up there. We're on the turn now, back towards along and through Velvet Bottom. And then we'll go up through Longfield, Piney Slights and down to the farm. Let's hope we got time to do it, everyone. Okay, I don't know if we have. But this is the snake path I told people not to do. Just be alert as you walk along. You don't want the adder sinking its fangs into your fleshy thigh. They are, like I said, they're more active when it's hot and they're quicker. They rely on the heat. God, how much further have I got to go through here? Oh, it must be all right. See, that could be a, an adder den down there, see? I would love to see one, I must admit. But I don't want to be bitten by one. They'll attack if they're threatened. Or if they feel threatened. Yeah, I've missed out a big chunk. Last time I was here, I did a lot more. I came specifically to do a lot more. I weaved all in and out the ruins, all the different paths, the nature reserve. But that's not the aim today. The aim is the walk round. We're coming onto a path now. So keep going. Keep going. That's it. Yeah, I've done, I've explored all that area and it is on other videos if people want to find it. Um, I don't know what I'd be called. It could be Sheila's visit to Velvet Bottom or it could be anything. But it's only over the last couple of years, even a year ago. Yeah, I've been all up there. I've been everywhere. Over the years. Everywhere. Exploring. And all little indentations and features are all evidence of the mining era. The humps and bumps. Nice hot day. Really warm. And a lovely, increasingly fierce wind. I'll tell you what you want it. We moan about the wind in the winter. I'll tell you what you want it now. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Now, like I said, the return trip, sun on you, nearly the whole of the way. It will be, by the time we get to Piney Sites, it will be. Yeah, I've been up that way, that's a nice track that leads you on a pathway, um, and you can get into the nature reserve. I've, I've done it all, I've explored it all over the years. Bit at a time, bit at a time. My sister Jude and her husband Stuart were familiar with this area. I'm not sure about the kids, but I expect they brought them here. I'm going to turn off in a minute and take some photos. And that mound over there, that's very Roman. All that over there. There's lots of evidence of the Romans, but they will be there as well. Do you know what I mean? And if we look over there, guess what? There's the aerials that we passed earlier. We did it. We did it. Over and out, everyone.
Well, if uh, you had your map with you, this is the Roman bit they feature that this was a settlement here. Something to do with the Romans and the quarry, the uh, mining. This bit here, and apparently there's lots of evidence of the Romans. I, I've, I've done it all before, and I have been right up, climbed up. Um, I've done lots and lots of stuff. So today we're on the definitely on the turn now, going back. Um, we're doing really well, really, really well. I do like to video it. Um, basically, I've got this lovely warm wind on me as well. I don't tend to do it in the winter. Now I'll tell you why I don't do some walks in the winter. Um, it is possible to do this walk, but a shorter one. Because you get lighter evening, uh, no, darker evenings. Um, and I like to have blue sky when I'm doing my videoing. The Romans took advantage of lots of the natural geology as well, don't forget. And would have used some of the stone for their own for their own buildings. Over that water picture.